Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 13th of August, where I take one of our many signals every day and set them up on a chart. In our members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every day for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. The fifth wave is the highest probability move in an Elliott wave sequence and trend. We also uh, give our members stochastic long and stochastic short potential trade as well. want to concentrate on longs today. In our members area here, you can see every day, we click on the image, download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks something like this. Quite a lot of signals here on 6 minute time frame for potential longs after a pullback. Uh, Thursday stroke Friday last week so some potential longs here on some big names as well let's have a look at one of those I've chosen Tesla on the 60 minute time frame I'm using the Elliott Wave indicator suite for think or swim platform from wave5trade.com this is also available for multi charts trade station and ninja trader so first of all this is the hourly chart for Tesla as you can see we've had this meandering corrective move down we found the lows and then since then we've had the big uh, the big move up a lot of this was to do with musk with the buy back and going private um, on the six week time frame that looks like this is big impulse move is the way three and then Thursday sort of Wednesday Thursday Friday last week we pulled back found the support and started to move away again so this is looking good for a potential long for Monday so let's go and take a closer look. So first of all, on our scanner membership, we've got three main filters. The first filter is we've had a pullback against the main trend. On the six minute time frame for Tesla, this is a pullback on a wave four. The wave four has found support in our amber zone. There's an 80% probability if we find support there, it will go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue. The next filter is the 535 oscillator. This is another measurement of how this wave 4 behaves. It's pulled back between 19 and 140% and crowned as well. So this is looking good uh, for a potential fifth wave today, as long as it doesn't gap up too much. And then we've had the stochastic crossover in the oversold zone and starting to move up. So everything's looking good. Teed it up on Friday by moving away from those lows from Thursday. So we've just got to look for a sensible entry. Obviously, we've got to go above the high of Friday, but also that will be above our 6.4 moving average high. The green moving average here is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite. The entry I've gone for is 360.86. Now, if you want to get just above 361, that's fine. Uh, but 360.86 is my entry. The stop loss is just below the wave four, the low of Thursday. And that's 345.38. Now that this gives us an incredible one to 2.5 risk reward into the target zone there. So even if we gap up to around 365 uh, on Monday, we've still got a great risk reward to get in long uh, to ride it up to the target of $400 there. So a great looking trade. This could take maybe two or three days, um, but we should see this move if it really gets momentum complete before the end of the week here uh, but also look for resistance at these highs for the previous wave three but even on that previous wave three on this entry strategy we still got a risk reward of one to 1.6 so it's, that would still be a great trade so that's it for today have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow